one, I talk about the fact that we use the same engine as the AK. Yeah. AK is a proven engine, works very well. Mud, water, dust, awesome shit. We just kept that, but we wanted to bring it to the next generation. Um, the, the problem with the AK was you can't put any optics on it. You can't put any gear on it. The accuracy was shit. It just worked very well. So now we had to figure out how we use the engine, we put an apex of shit all around it. So I start with the stock. I tell them that the stock is telescopic, goes back and forth depending on what equipment I have. It has a cheek piece that goes up and down depending on what optics I have. And it has a foldable stock, so I can shoot with it when it's folded. You know, instead of a car or whatever it may yeah. be, when you're in less than. The back of the stock has options, as you can notice. So it, depending on what you like, they all three come with the weapon and you just put on whichever one you want, depending on what kind of gear you have on you when you're using it. We have a, a uh, Yididahiza. What do you guys call that? Trigger uh, hand guard, uh, trigger guard. What do you call the hand? Oh, right. pistol grip. Pistol grip. We call it uh, Yididahiza in English. Not in, not in evil. In any case, they're changeable. So the rear and the forward, so they fix your, for your hand. So they make it bigger and smaller depending on the size of your hand. The safety is an AR safety, so it's ambidextrous on both sides. Instead of the regular AK uh, piece of shit that opens up and closes like that. The uh, dis disengaging the magazine. You can do it either from the right side or left side with this finger or with your, with your trigger finger or with your opposite hand. It's much easier to take out the magazine and that comes out real easy. The little black thing over here is basically how the, the stock locks so it doesn't move when it's uh, folded. We have a 43 centimeter Picatinny reel, which is very, very long. Allows us to put two optics on the weapon at one time, day scope, night scope, thermal scope together. The cocking handle, there are, it's ambidextrous. You can see here it's, not, it's on the left side. And up, uh, uh, here's on the right side, here's on the left side. So you have opposite, you can, the, the shooter can take it out and put it on the other hand, if he's right-handed or left-handed. And the handle itself has three different sizes, depending on what you like to stick out. Underneath, we have a long uh, Picatinny rail uh, option, and we have one here that is a short option. So this is easier for it to put, you know, bipods, uh, grips, uh, anything you want to put on it. You have side rails for the flashlights and for the lasers and we're building a new compressor so the recoil will be less. If you notice, the stock itself is much higher. We wanted to level off the stock and the barrel so the recoil will go straight and will not go up when I'm shooting. I think that's about it. If you remember all that, you're good. Okay? Yeah. All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com.